Well, hello, everybody. You're just in time for our TV show. What? what? Is there something you haven't told us, Chucky? Where are the cameras? No, gang. I just thought it would be fun to bring back some of the great musical themes from everybody's favorite old TV shows. That sounds great, Chucky. What are we going to cook up first? It had better be pizza. Or I'm out of here. Oh, Munch, you're such an animal. Great place to start, Helen. Animals were the stars of lots of TV shows. Here's two I'll bet you'll remember. Take it, Jasper. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. Ed. I am Mr. Ed. They call him Flipper. Chucky, how about a romantic TV adventure like you know who who robbed from the rich and gave to the poor and fed the hungry? Let's try these two adventure themes. The second one doesn't have lyrics, but it certainly has star quality. Is that a hint? Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his band of men, feared by the bad. Operatic soprano, Helen. It was a hint, Jasper. The real stars in that show were Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock in Star Trek. How about some comedies, Chucky? There's lots of them. There sure are, Jasper. But just for you, let's remember three country comedies that had cousins of yours in, uh, shall we say, supporting roles. You mean actors of the canine persuasion? I think I remember. Come and listen to my story about a man. Everybody remembers this one. Snap your fingers twice. Again. Keep it up, gang. That'll get us into three more fabulous comedies from the 60s. Lots of the most memorable TV themes were instrumentals. No words at all. Words cannot describe how hungry I am. Uh, how about we serve you up some more taste to your musical selections, Munch? Oh, come on, Chucky. Let's see if the folks remember the shows with these instrumental themes. I can just see little Opie fishing with his dad. Oh. That's from the Andy Griffith Show. Oh. 
remember Barney and lovable Aunt B. And Gomer and Goober and Thelma Lou. What a cute show. That weekly show was about Juan, June, Wally, Eddie, and Theodore, otherwise known as The, the Beaver. Beaver. And leave it to Beaver. Here's one more. Senor Dizzy. Even I know that one. I love pizza. Oh, I love Lucy much. You're so insensitive. I'm so hungry. Let's eat. There are a few more categories we don't want to miss. How about all the neat old detective shows? Well, there were so many, Chucky. Here's three from the 60s I'll bet you'll remember. But we're gonna need some more finger snapping. 77 Sunset Strip. 77 Sunset Strip. 77 Sunset Strip. Pica, I'll remember the cool character in that show who was always combing his hair. Pica, what was his name? They called him Kooky, Helen. And this next Hawaiian adventure introduced a perky little lady called Cricket. The soft island. One munch. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows that that's the team from the Blues Brothers. <laughs> Not for Squally. That was for Peter Gunn. Written for the 50s TV show by the same composer who wrote Moon River. Oh, Henry Mancini. He's one of my favorites. Well, as long as we're doing favorites, then let's do pizza now. Just hold on, munch. We'll feed you in a minute. But first, here are two themes about superheroes for kids and grown-ups of all ages. Batman! 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 Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman! visitor from another planet with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Superman! Who can change the course of mighty rivers? Bend steel with his bare hands. And who, disguised as Clark Kent? Mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper. Fights a never-ending battle for... Truth, justice, and the American way! Inspiring. Chuck E., wasn't there an unusual TV comedy about a police car that was always getting lost? The show was, Jasper, and even one about someone's mother who was, pardon the pun, reincarnated as an automobile. Oh. <laughs> and here they are, gang. Two TV cartoons I'm sure you'll never forget. <laughs> There's a hole up in the Bronx, Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short of child, cruise ships do it idle while. Car 54, where are you? Everybody knows in a second life we all come back sooner or later. As anything from a pussy cat to a man eating alligator. But believe it or not, my mother dear decided she'd come back. Sausage and cheese, where are you? It's coming right up, Munch, but there are a few more tunes I know the folks want to hear. Yeah, like themes from some of the spy shows. I think I spy some food heading this way. Don't get smart on us, Munch. Oh, that's another hint, isn't it, Chucky? Well, listen and see. Oh, good hint, Chucky. That's the theme from Get Smart. Oh, I can just see a... 99 and Maxwell Smart giving the chief a hard time. Oh. Secret agent man, secret agent man. They've given you a number and taken away your name. That was
was a big hit record too by Johnny Rivers. Right, Pasquale? Now, your assignment, should you choose to accept it, is to identify this theme song before it self-destructs. Ah, that's a classic. The main character was Jim Phelps. Oh, and there was a beautiful lady, too. Remember her name? I think they called her Butterscotch. Close, Jasper. Her name was Cinnamon. Well, gang, that wasn't such an impossible mission, was it? No. 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 Now I'm really gonna test your memory. More instrumental themes, Chucky. Right. And this time, you gotta identify them as I play them. Oh, are they in different categories, Chucky? Well, sorta. But mainly police, lawyers, and mystery. Are you ready? Oh, yeah! yeah! See who can guess the title and the name of the main character. Uh, uh, Cannon? Oh, uh, I know! Dragnet! And the policeman's name was, was Joe Friday! Right, Pasquale! Now try this. The Untouchables theme with Elliot Ness? Nope. Anybody else know? I do. The show was Perry Mason, and the character's name was... was... I can't remember. How oh, much? You do need a pizza. Here's another theme. Oh, it's right on the tip of my beak. I'll give you a hint. Hook him, Dano. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's from Hawaii Five-O, and the character's name was Steve McGarrett. Good memory, Helen. And how about this one? That's easy. He always walked into the picture and said, Good evening. That's Alfred Hitchcock. Good work, gang. There's one more that's probably the most unusual TV theme ever recorded. I bet it's the theme from Miami Vice. <laughs> Not Pasquale. I mean really way out. Oh, you do mean way out, Chucky. That's the theme from The Twilight Zone, presented by Rod Serling back in the 50s. Hold it. Enough is enough. It's pizza time. I guess you're right, Munch. But let's close out with a theme from one of the first TV shows for kids. Back to the days of five-cent cupcakes, red, yellow, and blue balloons on the wrapper. Princess Summer, Fall, Winter, Spring. Chief Thunder Thud. And don't forget Clarabelle and Flubadub. Hey, kids, what time is it? It's Howie Dooley time. It's Howie Dooley time. Bob Smith and Howie too. Pizza time. But we want to thank everybody for helping us remember some of the great old TV themes, which were so much a part of our lives when we were growing up. Everybody stick around and have some pizza, and we'll be back with more fun and music real soon. <laughs>